so that is taking lot of time and uh, relief board chairman was also there in the morning so all of them discussed and it was decided to be extremely careful in cutting those uh, buggies uh, they can't be just taken out using cranes so therefore uh, very carefully plasma cutters gas cutters and uh, hydraulic lifts are being used and we expect in next two three hours hopefully they would be able to succeed in um, uh, getting into those buggies because it has been compressed from various sides and uh, also a person has dived into the soil and uh, one buggy has gone uh, into over the other one so it is a little difficult um, uh, situation so it has to be technically uh, very professionally handled so the team is working there um, so uh, otherwise rest of the buggies are almost they are doing a mopping up exercise uh, now the teams are also uh, scouting for uh, surrounding areas if any body might have been thrown during the accident or anything so that they are uh, doing so one that once that mop up exercise is completed and these two buggies um, uh, are uh, uh, done with then we will be able to know what is the final damage uh, that has happened to lives At present, what are the numbers? Uh, there, there are conflicting the numbers coming, uh-huh. and since uh, our district um, magistrate as well as your senior officers are busy in coordinating hospital and other things, maybe in another half an hour's time, I would be able to give you a uh, little b- b- closer figure. So, uh, the last figure uh, the district collector had uh, confirmed to me is about 238. and uh, some people say 270 some channel say 288 and uh, i just got a call from delhi based journalist who says it is 300 plus i said at least i don't have the information so uh, confirmed is 238 and thereafter if there are any additions uh, that that will let uh, you know in the uh, in some time and uh, yes uh, about uh, 900 uh, uh, passengers were injured to varying degree uh, 200 250 of them have been discharged after uh, uh, this first hit uh, about 250 again have been referred to katak bhuneswar and balance uh, 300 uh, odd are uh, being treated in baleswar and bhadrak that's the current st- uh, status any in which, what the cause of any first of all cause of accident is a subject which is not within the state uh, government's uh, purview and therefore we, we have not gone into it and then again this is not the time when one should go after the causes rather than uh, looking into uh, rescue and uh, ensuring availability of health services to them so that is uh, yesterday even night when anul chief minister visited um, the state control room Uh, had a detailed review and uh, that is what uh, his advice was also ki don't uh, digress only sh- start uh, only only try to the uh, rescue as many as we can and provide them uh, medical support uh, so and today anubhav chief minister is there in the site he had visited the accident site and also the hospital uh, similarly anubhav chief minister of tamil nadu also had uh, a video call with uh, me and my colleagues we explained the ground situation uh, but uh, till now we have not got the passenger list from railways to know how many are from which state so we we we, we don't know so hopefully very s- in next few hours we will be able to get it from railways then we will uh, be able to know so uh, west bengal uh, their officers are uh, in accident site uh, now autopsies uh, are going on and in fact some of the uh, relations of those uh, dead people who could identify the body and produce evidence in respect of their relationship they have been also handed over the bodies uh, so others will take time and maybe those few cases where the bodies cannot be identified if such contingencies arise then we will follow the medical legal uh, uh, processes uh, of waiting for 72 hours to do the autopsy and then if pos- if required then maybe we have to go for fingerprinting or dna all those things will uh, do in due course we will follow 
Sir, there are lots of people come to uh, the hospital in Baleshwar, Bhadrak and other places to donate the blood voluntarily. So, uh, that was yeah, yesterday we, found, uh, we yesterday we found a very, very enthusiastic crowd coming to donate blood. So, uh, whether we require blood or not, people say we are giving blood. Please collect blood from us. So, that's a very good sign. And uh, not only in uh, Baleshwar, in Bhadrak we have seen, in Katak also we have seen. Now, we are getting, I am getting a lot of tweets. Twitter messages requesting that we would like to donate blood in Burampur, in this place, that place. So we are telling right now we don't need, but when we need, we will certainly ask for volunteers. So this is a good sign. Um, not only that, yesterday even um, since the accident till now, uh, local people, local volunteers are uh, rendering a lot of support to the our rescue professionals. Uh, both in um, rescue as well as lifting the uh, injured persons, the uh, dead bodies, so, so local and also arranging drinking water somewhere, somebody is distributing food. So they are doing a lot of uh, good work in the pit.